What's good, YouTube, man? Merry Christmas and happy holidays to y'all, man. I hope y'all enjoying y'all y'all's event with y'all family and friends, man. But I just want to drop a video, man. I know y'all commented below last on the last video, Limitless. So I'm just here to give y'all a little Christmas present, man. I know I've been long been waiting. I've been waiting for thumbnail makers, man. YouTube is not easy, you know what I'm saying? So if you could comment down below, not easy. Um, I would greatly appreciate that in the comments, man. This video right here is gonna teach you how to cord limitless, guard up, slithery finisher, and other badges that are hard to cord in NBA 2K23. So let's just get started. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is go to create a dunk style. Once you go to create a dunk style, I'm gonna give you all the dunk patch packages that I have equipped on my Pure Playmaker that was in my last video. So here we go. So off of two, we're gonna need Tomahawk, and we're gonna need Lead and Slam. And then off of one, we're gonna need Quick Drops, which is equipped off of one. And then here's what actually gets me the limitless takeoff. Straight Arm Tomahawks is the number one thing you need to get your limitless takeoff and you're also going to need that sidearm tomahawk but you do not need any other packages besides this the only re the reason why i don't use any other name packages is because i don't want my player confused when i'm actually going up for an animation with 2k so this is exactly all the packages that you need to court in the limitless takeoff in the new 2k 22. Alright, so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go right here to options. You're going to go right here to controller settings. And you're going to go to pro stick function. Now make sure that your pro stick function is on default. If it's not on default, this will not work for you, unfortunately. So please have your pro stick on default. I am going to teach you how to actually use the analog stick in this video. It's very easy to use the analog stick. So please make sure your pro stick function is on default. And that's the second thing you need to do to get your limitless takeoff cord in NBA 2K23. Okay, now the last thing you need to do is simply make a Pro-Am team. Go in here and make a Pro-Am team real quick. This will allow you to practice how to use limitless takeoff in NBA 2K23. All right, so now that we actually created a Pro-Am team, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and get our practice on. So we're gonna grab this ball here. Now, like I said, I'm gonna teach you how to actually use the analog stick in NBA 2K23. So have an analog clock somewhere if you look on the internet. I know I didn't put the illustration in the YouTube video. I don't know how to do that yet, so bear with me. But if you know what an analog clock is, type in the word analog clock. It's really just a big face. So it's a big face clock. Now the way to use the analog stick in NBA 2K23 to dunk the ball is you wanna dunk anywhere between 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, one o'clock, two o'clock. Left is left, right is right on the stick. So when you use your right hand, you're actually using, the, you wanna push that right stick between one o'clock and two o'clock for the right. And for the left, you wanna use the limitless takeoff between 11, 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock. So right in there between those two sweet spots. So once again, between one o'clock and two o'clock for right hand limitless takeoff. And left hand, you wanna use between 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock for the right hand, for the left, excuse me, left hand, the minutes take off. Now, if you want two hands for safety, you wanna just push that right analog stick up, which is 12 o'clock, okay? So push that right analog stick up every time for two hands for safety is what I call it. You feel what I'm saying? Like I said, left is left, right is right. Now, how you wanna do limitless takeoff here is you wanna make sure you have enough stamina when you drive it, and that's the number one thing. So when you're making an attack, you wanna make sure you have enough stamina to make the attack, cause certain moves cause for more stamina. I don't know if anybody's ever told you that, but certain moves cause for more stamina, okay? Um, so the best thing you wanna do is you wanna make one move. One move to the cup, and if you wanna to go to your left hand, make sure that you push that 
right stick. 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock in order for you to get that limitless takeoff. So we're gonna see if I can do it on my first time. I'm gonna back up, come around here. And right there, if you know you mess up, you know you mess up because right there, I took off too late. So how you know you did it good is if you Don't take off too late. See right there? You wanna make one move and get to the cup. Okay? You wanna make one move and get to the cup. So I'm gonna make one move and then get to the cup. Now me, that's taking off way too late. You're not gonna be able to core limitless when you take that and bring that analog stick up way too late. So what you wanna do, once again, make one move. Boom. And if you're not too late, you're able to core that limitless takeoff and that will trigger every time. I'm gonna try that again. We're live, I just wanna let you know that. I'm just doing this just to show y'all that it's not hard to core limitless takeoff. One move, boom. Just want to take off at the right time. And the reason why I'm getting that move off every time is because I don't have 13 dunk packages on my player. You feel what I'm saying? So hopefully this help y'all. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So I, I'm, I'm... And some animations are just a given, you know what I mean? So that's how you core limitless takeoff. You know what I'm saying? All right, y'all. This is how you core guard up and acrobat with slithery finisher. And these are the only couple of clips I got. So I hope this helps y'all. Um, but we're going to go right through it real quick. So as you can see, you can either go, you can either core guard up in the J code or the AI. You can see guard up pops up, and then here's live. This is actually you know in the wreck where somebody plays fake D, and I still pull it, and guard up still should pop up. As you can see, it should pop up in just a second. I want to make sure it pops up so I can prolong the play, and it does pop up. Here's how you core limitless, having that limitless takeoff badge with that limitless range, bronze, at least on bronze. And then here's how you core slithery finisher with acrobat. As you can see, acrobat mixed with slithery finisher will pop up. So I hope this helps out. And I'm gonna holler at y'all.